Hello, crypto family. Welcome back to another video where I'm bringing you the daily crypto news. Today's article comes from Finbold and it's on IMF warns Russian sanctions could boost use of crypto and erode dollar supremacy. So, no shucks, people. <laughs> IMF hates cryptocurrency. We saw that with all their warnings with uh, El Salvador and everything going on. So let's see what they got to say about this, because they know what's up at how cryptocurrencies are going to erode the dollar unless you get up to date with the future of the new currency world. So here we go. As the Russian invasion of Ukraine enters its second month, the top international monetary fund, IMF, official has warned that the financial sanctions imposed on the invading country, including restrictions on its central bank, could have some wide-reaching effects on currencies. Gita Gopinath, the first deputy managing director at the IMF, believes that our indications are that some countries have begun renegotiating the currency <clears throat> in which they get paid for trade. She said in a Financial Times interview quoted by Insider on March 31st, the dollar would remain the major global currency even in that landscape, but fragmentation at a smaller level is certainly quite possible, she explained. <clears throat> According to Gopinath, the current situation could encourage the adoption of currencies other than the U.S. dollar, including cryptocurrencies ranging from stable coins to central bank digital currencies, CBDCs around the world. She also warned of the lack of regulation around cryptocurrencies and the need to address the issue before their wider adoption. All of these will get even greater attention following the recent episodes, which draws us to the question of international regulation. There is a gap to be filled there, she said. So yeah, we'll see what goes on. But crypto in a time of war. On February 24th, the day the Russian forces entered Ukraine in special military operations, the crypto market reacted with an immediate sell-off that led to losses of more than half a billion dollars, with over 90% of the Bitcoin in circulation. Its inflation rate notably dropped to 1.7% in March, five times lower than the U.S. dollar, positioned BTC as a viable inflation hedge to investors. In turn, the market has made a remarkable recovery with the price of Bitcoin, its flagship asset, marching an upward trend, increasing as much as 35% since the beginning of the invasion and pushing the growth of the entire market's capitalization with it, which currently stands at $2.12 trillion. It's worth noting that cryptocurrencies have proven their utility as a means of procuring assistance to the invaded people and their military recently. The donations made in crypto have surpassed $100 million, as reported by Finbold. So yeah, in times of these wars, crypto is booming and the adoption rate is going faster. Because during that time, they were like, again, the IMF sanctioned Russia, or not IMF, the US and the rest of the world were sanctioning Russia from using the dollar, the ruble, banking systems, so they had to move over to cryptocurrencies. And like, it's funny that it was a time after Russia was debating on banning cryptos, but then once this all took place, it's like, a, uh, no, 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 we need to use this right now because <laughs> cryptocurrencies are borderless. No one can stop them. As long as you don't use the centralized exchanges, like use the decentralized network, DeFi, decentralized finance, you'll be fine to get around all that and everything. But again, also, Russians making deals now with like giving away oil and cryptocurrencies, or they're making not giving away, they're making trading deals with cryptos or the ruple. So they're gaining value on their dollar, which will probably be a digital ruple in the future, or collecting on Bitcoin. So yeah, IMF hates it because they know it's going to erode the dollar's value. You're like, we don't need to use the dollar no more. We have digital currencies. We got our ruple. We got oil that you desperately need. And yeah, so good article. Gives us a insight on how freaked out the IMF really is, because now they're not just going after El Salvador. Now they're talking about Russia. So <laughs> let's see them go after the next country that starts using cryptocurrencies. So guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you do not miss a beat. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.